2021. I'm Anna Marie Francis. And I'm Rose Molly Engel. And we will be your MCs for today. We want to start off by thanking all of you here who are attending this event. Your presence is greatly appreciated by us, the children who will be performing for you on stage, the academy teachers, and all those working behind the scenes to make this day possible. We also want to congratulate all our academy students and teachers for their hard work and dedication through this year. We know that this year has definitely been a unique one. Even though your students mostly learn through Zoom, we know that you will wow us today with your performances. We want to especially thank our Tony Action for your prayers and support, and Sojimon Uncle, Jogi Uncle, and Joseon Auntie, our Academy Coordinators, for organizing this event. None of this would be happening today if it weren't for you. So on that note, I would like to introduce our student choir team for a prayer song. Good afternoon all. Thank you, Rose and Anna, for the introduction and to be seeing today. So, as you all know, we are having a very scalar version compared to all the previous years. It's going to be slightly low key event today. But anyway, despite all the challenges, we were able to continue the program, the academy program, this year online, and we did not take a break. So thank you, Ajahn, trustees, and the parents for their for your good support and pro encouragement to conduct the academy program this year. Our Ajahn has been here approximately seven months in our church, and he hasn't seen any of our pro kids' program so far live. So today you can get a glimpse of the talents of our children. So I take this opportunity to welcome our Ajahn for today's academy annual day program. And also, Sister Marianne is always here with us. She is always encouraging and support for our, for our community. I heartily welcome Sister Marianne for this today's Nanam Day program. And our trustees has always been giving their full support and encouragement and all their help all the time for academy programs. So I welcome all of our trustees for today's annual program. Despite all the challenges, our academy teachers really put their great effort to conduct the online, online classes and get this academy program going. I really appreciate all their efforts for doing the online classes and developing our kids' talents. So, a grand welcome to all the academy teachers for the program today. <laughs> Lastly, above all, hearty welcome to all the parents, children and all who are gathered here for being here and support and encourage, to support and encourage our children. So, grand welcome to all of you and then enjoy the program. To start off, I would like to invite the Children's Choir to sing a prayer song. Thank you. 
Thank you so much, Children's Choir. Now I'd like to invite Antonietta to say a few words. Good afternoon, Sister Marian, Sojivan, Trustees, all the teachers for this academy, all of the children and parents. As Sojivan said, I am very happy to be with you all uh, to witness the talents of our children in different areas. I think so. most of you are ready for your performance. Well, this year, it was a very challenging year for all of us, for the whole world. At the same time, we learned how we can function even when we are limited. Even when the limitations of COVID affected us, we found ways uh, to conquer that, those limitations. So I think that is our human nature. We can survive uh, in any situation, very especially when we think about our life in Kerala, we all know. Uh, we had different situation, not like America. But we were ready and able to adopt the needs of the situations later when we came to America or when, wherever we were. So God has given us all these talents and blessings so that we can be effective and we can uh, make use of all the blessings all throughout our lives. You know, we adopt different roles in our lives. Every day, we do have different, uh, different roles. As children, we have to learn a lot of things. I think in America, we get a lot of opportunities for extracurricular activities. And I'm so happy that our parish found ways to give them those opportunities to our children. In, in as a parish itself. I do remember the days where we, were, we had so many competitions. When the schools are closed, we have so many competitions in the parishes in different levels, parish level, then foreign level, then diocesan level, then Michelle has its own uh, competitions, then KCSL. So many organizations are there in Kerala which helps our children or help, which helps all of us to grow. So the Xero Academy is our way of helping our children, next generation, to grow uh, as effective and blessed now children, then youth and then adults. So we are very happy to be with you all. I am very happy and I congratulate all the efforts that the Zero Academy is uh, doing for our children. It's wonderful, you know, that we can do these things here. When I came first, uh, actually I visited all these rooms, all the classrooms. And they all have different names as well. Titles, dance, uh, piano. And then I saw so many instruments are there. So I understood how it was here, you know, how it is functioning every Sunday. Uh, I heard about it and then I witnessed, I, I looked in the classrooms. So it was clear that it's very anti parish uh, I think uh, we should say hats off to all of you and all the volunteers who are making it a possibility for our next generation. And I'm so happy for all of you that you, will, you are making use of uh, these opportunities. So all the best for all the performers and thank you all those who are uh, training us. Good job, God bless you all.